This is your second fight and it's a massive improvement from your first. And you'll notice in, in this opening sequence, there's a number of times where you just drop and just evade his strike. And you did this right throughout the tournament and every time it was successful. What I think the next part of your journey is, is to work on that evasion and, and come back quickly with a counter strike. Because so often you've got someone in a vulnerable position, you're nice and close. Generally, when people practice punches, it's from the upright posture. And so what happens when we drop into that evasion position, we're not accustomed to coming back with a quick retort, some sort of counter, whether it's a foot or a hand technique. So it's just worth investing into practicing just by yourself that evasion and then popping back up with a hand or a foot counter attack. So that's your first point of the bout. And I've just put in slow-mo for you to have a look at, just so we can pick up some things. Now, firstly, notice your Hikate, that left hand, it's nice and close to your jaw, which is great. Earlier in your previous bout, it was already down by your side, below your leg, but you did drop it there, as you see, and you repeatedly sort of have this habit of, when you're pulling back your punches, is to drop that left hand by the side. So that's something to be mindful of. The other thing is just watch the way you're telegraphing that lunge. Notice how it drops. And you do that again repeatedly where you're bringing your hand down to create sort of momentum before you do your jab. But it's just giving your opponent a bit too much reaction time. Professional boxers, when they talk about jabbing, they discuss that you halve the distance with your jabbing hand between you and your partner before you throw the jab. Um, where you just bring it forward off your chin before you throw it. And you're kind of doing the opposite. You're pulling it away from your partner before you're throwing it. So again, we just want to minimize their reaction time. So it's one all here. I forgot to video, or I didn't think about videoing yet, uh, that first point. You keep him away here nicely. And there's the second phase, which is great because at the end of your first bout, we discussed the fact that you didn't throw a single second phase. So I think you threw a couple in this, in this bout. So that's fantastic. And so there it is. You took advantage and you scored the point because of it. But notice I've freeze-framed it because your left hand, again, is below your leg. So we need to work on that Zun Chin. And... Moving on, it's 2-1 your way at the moment. And uh, I, think I, free, I think I slowed this down again. Notice that left hand again, it's dropped below your belt before you throw in your lunge. So we need to make sure our lunge, um, again, is, is not giving our opponent too much reaction time. Keep your composure there, which is great. And there's another second phase. So I think he scored for this one. That's okay. Uh, yeah, that's his left um, arm on your throat. But you still threw the second phase regardless. And that left hand drops down by your side again. So Zan Chin, definitely something to work on. And sadly, uh, my camera, I had to delete some footage. So I couldn't get this entire fight.